Hey guys, sorry it's been a while since I made a video. Um, I plan on making more content um, in the future, but anyways, this is the new bike, new to me at least. Um, it's a uh, 2022 KX250. This is the X model. Uh, there's just a few differences. This is basically Kawasaki's off-road version. Excuse the trailer. It's kind of a mess. I didn't uh, I haven't taken anything out since my last ride But uh, anyways, yeah, there's a few differences in the X model uh, Just subtle stuff the engine is the same as the uh, motocross version same horsepower it's got the uh, Stock is the black map the richer map. That's what the off-road version comes with um, anyways, this bike is it's very very good condition. I actually traded my KTM for this. I had a 2018 450 SXF uh, It was just too much bike for me for what I do uh, I'm not like doing crazy motocross races or anything and Honestly, I prefer the smaller bore bikes. I also have a YZ 125. I still have that bike um, but yeah, I like the smaller bore bikes as they say it's more fun to ride a slow bike fast than it is to ride a fast bike slow But this thing is by no means slow It's it's very aggressive for a 250. It's like I said, it's got the same uh, engine as the uh, regular 250 Kawasaki but uh, I mean, I feel like a lot of people like Kawasaki is kind of slept on um, Not a lot of people you don't see too too many of them but uh, they are really, really good bikes. Um, yeah, I really like it. The only thing that's really been done to this, it has the uh, breakaway levers. These are just some cheap knockoff brand breakaway levers. And then uh, I really don't think anything else has been done to it. I uh, went through it and stuff and tightened up a few loose bolts and stuff. But uh, nothing crazy. I am getting a graphics kit for this. It should be here later today. If UPS ever gets here. Um, but yeah, man, I really, really enjoy this bike. I've only put, uh, it had like, it wasn't really ridden much, but I, uh, it was used when I got it. I traded it for it, but uh, I put an hour meter on it. I think I put like an, about almost two hours on it last Sunday. I'm going to ride it this weekend too. It's very reliable. And uh, yeah, man, Kawasaki's are great bikes. Uh, I think this is... This is the second Kawasaki dirt bike I've ever had. I had an actual KX250 in 05 uh, sometime last year. That thing was a monster, but uh, yeah, this, this bike's awesome. Uh, also, the X model has a, uh, there's a few differences. This one's got a 51 tooth rear sprocket. It does come with a kickstand, but that thing was ugly and huge, so I took it off. Uh, it's got different suspension. It's got the uh, KYB suspension, which is really, really nice. It's a little bit softer than the motocross version, the suspension settings. Other than that, it's basically the same as the motocross bike. It's got an 18-inch rear wheel, of course, one inch smaller on the rear wheel. It's got a fatter tire, but, it, I mean, this thing is, it pulls, and it's great for off-road. The suspension is really, really good. Uh, yeah, I know Yamaha is known for suspension. My YZ125 has really good suspension, but this thing, it's right up there with it. I believe Yamaha uses KYB too. I could be wrong. But anyways, yeah, um, I'm planning on doing some riding videos with this. I should be getting a GoPro sometime soon. I'll start it up for you guys. Also, in 2021, the year previous to this, they put electric start Finally, Kawasaki put electric start. I think the 450s have had it for a little longer. Maybe like 2019 or so. But, uh... Um, what else? Yeah, it, I mean... All I've done really, like I said, I changed the oil and stuff. But anyways, this is, uh... This is it. Got the uh, throttle lock on here, so I can't really rev it. I don't want to run it too long because I'm in my trailer and like I don't want to get carbon monoxide poisoning or whatever. Should open this thing up. But yeah, 
So let me know what you guys think about Kawasaki or whatever. Let me know what you, what you guys what favorite what your favorite 250 is, um, and let me know how many hours you got on your bikes too. Curious to see. My YZ has like 33 hours on it, but uh, my KTM had like 110. Um, I'm guessing this thing has uh, anywhere around 40 to 50, some somewhere around there. But I I want to. I'm curious to. See what you guys, how many hours you got on your bike. Who's got the highest number of hours on what type of bike and whatnot. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys.